What is happening, everybody? And welcome to a Mighty Marvel Monday because I finally stepped into the current wave of Walmart comic packs. So I picked up the Extreme Carnage one, and which is Alpha, Extreme Carnage Alpha, probably number one. And then Alien number four, which is actually a surprisingly good read. And figure, why the hell not? Star Wars High Republic number six. So we got this. Uh, I kind of put off jumping into these. There are some other ones. I know there's an X-Men one, X-Men number one from the relaunch. And that's the only one I remember. But I know there are several of those out there. Maybe I will, if I come across some of them, I'll uh, check them out. There's still, they still have some of the old ones. And I guess there are some new DC ones as well, but I haven't seen those, so I don't know. But yeah, we'll st actually we'll start with the duels in reverse. And we'll start with the Star Wars High Republic. Is that a Phil Noto cover? Sure is. My man, Phil Noto. Uh, and also, I was thinking, since I was just thinking about this before, I sat down to record. And as I've talked about before, this is pretty much the extent, as far as right now anyway, that I've gone and planned to go as far as mystery packs, comic pack type of things. Picked up these and ones from, what's the place? Five Below. But they haven't had any good ones in a couple years. I was there a couple months ago. Went to see if they kind of up their up their game or re up their game because they used to have like other comic packs for for four dollars four twenty five whatever and you get some marvel dc ones last time i was there i picked up some candy and a basketball and all they had was archie comic packs and i don't i'm not messing with no archie book so yeah but these kind of like comic packs like that that's pretty much it i'm not into the other like bigger boxes that everybody kind of dig into because i just feel like they're pretty much just raffle tickets, maybe, but also they're just filled with. I see a lot of times I do watch some of the unboxings on YouTube, and just I just see so much, just uh, not not I don't want to say filler, but just store exclusive variants, like online retailer variants that are upcharged thirty forty dollars in value. But it's like nobody no, because I just it just, some of that just seems it just mind about like blows my mind, but. Here we are. So, Star Wars High Republic. For you Star Wars fans. Oh, another one of these. This is Thor 6. The uh, second print. Why does this look like that? Okay. And yes, the wraparound. Everybody's, I don't know if everybody's going crazy for it, but everybody's talking about this one. I already have another copy of this one. But yeah, uh, Thanos holding me on here. Yeah. Wait, what? It's me on here. What's the power stones in it? I don't know what's going on in Thor. And then... Iron Man number eight. This is the Heroes Reborn variant. So when this gearing up for the Heroes Reborn event, kind of just going back, Marvel going back to that time. Uh, skipped all of that though. So yeah, I don't care about that. But yeah, so that's first pack. Next up, Alien, which again, was a surprisingly good read. I have already admitted my kind of hesitation in going into this series. But I picked up the first two issues for the uh, Any Hook Lee and Peach from Mofo variants. And obviously I was going to read them, so I had them. And I pre-ordered those, and I was like, oh, you know, it was a solid read, actually. And I found issue number two at a sale. So I was kind of continuing that one. I was like, all right. So I still need issue number three. And I was like, oh, since I'm kind of interested in the book and I can get it right now, why not? So Alien number four with this cover. I don't know what this is. I recognize the tag, but I have no idea. Oh wait, man, that might be Koi Fam. You kind of think, I have to look at it closer. And I was really curious about this last book in here because you can see, I was like, what the hell book did they have that's purple and yellow, like splattered all over the place like that? And I don't know. But X Factor number seven, I already had that. I was already picking that up anyway. Oh, it was Eternals. Eternals number one. Which is funny because I was just looking into the Eternals because I've never, I've never bothered to look into them. I've never known anything about them. They were just some group that existed way back when, had several series since, and then this movie, and everybody's talking about them. I was like, well, why? Like, who are they? So I had to look them up. I think I just did that probably yesterday. And from the time I'm recording this video, and just like the Slush Deals created them. And I think the other group was called the Deviants. So the Eternals, just in case anybody who else was wondering, you can um, kind of pass on the information that I found because I was curious. 
they were created, Eternals were created to as an offshoot of humanity from like the cave dwellers, and they were intended to be the protectors of Earth, the guardians. And then they created the Deviants, which were, I don't know why they created Deviants, the, the Deviants, but I think it was Deviants. But they were, I guess they created them and they were just like these horrifically deformed individuals. The Eternals got powers and the Deviants were just all type of mute, like they had, had all types of mutations, some of which granted them powers, but they were just supposed to be these just hideous people for whatever reason and a whole bunch of drama after that. But yeah, so purple yellow cover. I guess you like the Lakers, the Vikings, I don't know. Nothing too fantastic there. And last up we have Extreme Carnage Alpha. I think this is, I feel like this, I don't know who did that. It's either Ryan Brown or Inhi Lee. But we will find out. So I know there were, everybody was kind of going crazy over these the last couple months when after these started hitting. And there's that, you know, like the whole thing with all the other, like all the other variants, ratio variants that are kind of popping up at an increasing rate, a steadily increasing rate, especially that Amazing Spider-Man 55. I don't know if it was, see, second print was red, third print was blue. So maybe it wasn't a fourth print. Maybe it was just a, I guess it was just a ratio variant, a high ratio variant, some, some ridiculous number, maybe one in 100, one in 500 or something like that. But there's a better shot of uh, Extreme Alpha, or Extreme Carnage Alpha. And then, oh, I don't have this one. I don't have this cover anyway. Oh, Mahmoud Asrar, who I do like. But this is uh, Demon Days, Mariko, number one. This is variant again, uh, Mahmoud Asrar, who I do like, oh my goodness. Who I do like from his work on Supergirl New 52, which I knew, yeah, the New 52 Supergirl series, which I think was the first time I've seen his work. And then he did uh, came over to Marvel. He's been doing a bunch of Marvel stuff and a lot of X Men stuff since then. From was it all new X Men, many years, not many years ago, but this past decade, and then a bunch of the new stuff as well. And last book, what is this one? The Neil Francis Hugh. This is X of Swords Destruction. I don't think I have this one actually, so that's cool. I'll take a nice X Men variant. So a couple in this pack. Which one? So, yeah, 422. Yeah, so this was the end of that one. I do have this book, just not this cover. I might have two of these, like two of the variants, whatever. But yeah, so that is everything we got in these three packs. Those are too crazy. I just like them because they're fun. Oops, oh my goodness. That doesn't make it as fun dropping books. But yeah, just because they're always kind of interesting to see what kind of goofy books might pop up in here. Nothing crazy like the old days where you just got tons of second and third prints, which kind of put me off of them for a while. I was like, I don't want to oh, use second, third prints, like first prints of any other random book. Yeah. But some of the books were second and third prints. Like, why? This book wasn't even that great. Why did it even have another printing? It wasn't even necessary. Eternals, Thor, X Men, Iron Man, Demon Days, Mighty Gold, Peach from Moko, getting a lot of love these days. I love it. She's fantastic. X Factor again, I think. That one, and maybe the extra, I might have already have Extreme Carnage. And well, X of Swords Destruction and Iron Man and Thor are the books I already have. Thor, I actually got from another pack. But yeah, so that's that. They did have another pack of Alien, Extreme Carnage, and some of the older packs like Silk and from the last, wa last wave of books, I guess. And there was another one. Oh, the not Giant Man. What is that one book? Ultraman. The Rise of Ultraman or something like that. They still had that pack. Yeah, uh, if you're still picking these up, let me know what you think, if what you've been getting. If you uh, have, if you're doing unboxings of these, unpackings, openings, whatever, on your YouTube channel, go ahead, link them in your comment. Like, I'll definitely go check out, see what kind of books you pulled. And uh, if you're picking up, if you found DC new ones, like, let me know. Because I guess, again, I guess I heard, sir, saw something about their, like they have mass of them or something? I don't know. I don't understand it. But that's just comics for you. So yeah, uh, that's that. Uh, happy reading, happy on happy collecting. This is Geno's Comics. Thanks for watching and peace out.